Jack Nolan at the Goog with Irish wide receiver Chris Fink after practice number seven of the spring. Certainly you established yourself last year as a leader and a go-to guy. Probably even more responsibilities this year. How do you view your role both on the field and off the field for this team? Um, yeah, I think my responsibilities have heightened a little bit. I'm uh, going to be a fifth-year senior, one of the oldest, if not the oldest guys on the team. So um, I've got a bigger leadership role now, uh, being a SWAT team captain and uh, trying to be more vocal with that. Um, where last year I think I had I felt like I was a leader in the in the receiver room with me and Miles being the oldest guys, but now that role's expanded to the rest of the team, not just in the in the receiver room. So you've been through it all. You know what it's like to be a freshman, and you now know what a freshman doesn't know. So take us through when you look at some of those young guys and they come to you, how much don't they know that they will quickly learn as their years progress? Yeah, it's it's definitely hard to know everything when you haven't had the experience. So um I try to take that experience and and show a little bit to the younger guys. Like you said, we've got some young guys in the receiver room who are going to need to step up and, and fill some roles. And um, I, I really like all of them, their work ethic and their attitude. Um, they all want it real bad. And it's, it's kind of inspiring to see that. Um, one thing probably with a young guy when, uh, you know, when coach is riding you, um, it's hard to realize that he's just trying to get, help you get better and coach you, you know. When, when you're getting coaching, it's not always personal. It's just uh, trying to get you better. So sometimes it's hard to, it's hard to take that calmly and, and apply it to your game. But I think the guys actually are pretty good at that. You and Chase are in stone. You guys are starting. There's a third starting position. And then all those backup positions, guys that will get on the field in this offense right. that they're still battling for. And it really seems like you have a lot of talent behind you. Talk a little bit about the, the young depth that you have in the receiving core. Yeah, like you said, we've got some talented young guys that are going to be filling roles. Um, you know, Mike Young, he's not even really a young guy anymore. He's a junior, so um, we need Mike stepping up in, in one of those older guy roles. And uh, we got Kevin, and uh, we got Keys, and Braden, and Joe, and Micah, and Isaiah, and Ari, and Greg, and Matt, and Leo, and uh, Javon, the whole crew. But uh, um, yeah, they're, they're getting more reps. That's what happens in spring ball when uh, some guys have left, and, and we've got a long time till the season. So. Um, we can see see what they're made of, and I think they're all taking it in stride pretty well. Guys are making plays. Guys are playing fast. Guys aren't complaining. Um, so it's fun to watch them compete. Um, and at the same time, it's not really an animosity between any of them, even though they realize that they'll be competing for playing time. What are the next steps for you on the field? Very successful year last year, but I know you always want to get better. What are those next steps? Um, I think it's playing fast all the time, showing no fatigue ever, playing with no fear, going in there being physical all the time. You saw Chase and Miles real physical last year. I try to get in there. It's it's a little uh, more difficult being my size, but um, I, wa I watch guys like Julian Edelman in the NFL, and he's cracking heads. So that's something I want to try to do. I want to be more physical. Um, like I said, just play fast at all times and push through any fatigue I have. And I know you love returning punts, and last year they finally – you always wanted to run them all back. Yeah. And last year they finally gave you permission to go ahead at your discretion and run them back. What kind of an impact do you think you can have there this year? Um, hopefully a big one. You know, you never really know the way the ball bounces, the way the, way the punt's coming off the foot, and if you're going to get chances or not, just get a few blocks set up. But hopefully we'll have, a, hopefully we'll have something schemed up where we can get some good returns. Ian Book had such a terrific year last year. It was his first year as a starter. What are you seeing in him in practice in terms of how he's getting better? Yeah, I think, uh, like you said, he well, he entered last year not as a starter, so he was kind of thrust into that role in the middle of the season. And I think him entering a period like spring ball being the guy with, with nothing else on his back, um, nothing else really to worry about. I think he's delivering throws with confidence. He's reading defense as well, and he's just playing um, to the top of his ability. Eight practices left, including the blue goal game. What do the receivers? What, are the, what does the receiving core need to do? Uh, we need to be more consistent. We need to make contested catches. We need to make plays for our quarterback when he's when he's hot and making throws. We need to hold up our end. Um, we all need to play fast. We all need to play physical. Um, we need to be the <coughs> excuse me. We need to be the best group on the field making plays because you know. If the passing game can't get going, the running game can't get going, it all, it's all intertwined. So we need to do our job so everyone else can do their job as well.